Why should I play the Roman fool and die on mine own sword, whilst I see lives and gashes do better upon them? Turn, hellhound, turn! Of all men else I have avoided thee, but get thee back. My soul is too much charged with blood of thine already. My voice is in my sword, though bloodier villain than Thames can give thee out. Angel whom thou still hast served, tell thee Macduff was from his mother's womb untimely ripped. Accursed be that tongue that tells me so, for it hath cowed my better part of man. And be these juggling fiends no more believed that palter with us in a double sense, that keep the word of promise to our ear and break it to our hope. I'll not fight with thee. Kneel thee, coward, and live to be the show and gaze of the time. We'll have thee as our rarer monsters are, painted upon a pole and under it. Here may you see the tyrant. I will not yield to kiss the ground before young Malcolm's feet, and to be baited with the rabble's curse. Though Burnham would be come to Dunsandane, and though opposed, being of no women's born, yet I will try the last. Before my body I throw my warlike shield. Lay on, Macduff, and damned be him that first cries, Hold, enough. <laughs> safe arrived. Some must go off, and yet by these I see so great a day as this is cheaply bought. Macduff is missing, and your noble son. Your son, my lord, has paid his soldier's debt. He only lived but till he was a man, the which no sooner had his prowess confirmed in the unshrinking station where he fought, but like a man he died. And he is dead? Brought off the field, your cause of sorrow must not be measured by its worth, for then it hath no end. And had he his hurts before? Aye, on the front. Why then God's soldier he be! If I had as many sons as I have hairs, I would not wish them to a fairer death! 
and so his knell is nulled. He is worth more sorrow than that I'll spend for him. He is worth no more! They say he parted well and paid his score, and so God be with him. Ah, here comes newer comfort. Hail, King, for so thou art. Behold where stands the usurper's cursed head. The time is free. I see thee encompassed with thy kingdom's pearl that speak my salutation in their minds, whose voices desire loud of mine. Hail, King of Scotland! Oh, hail, King of Scotland! We shall not spend a large expense of time before we reckon with your several loves and make us even with you. My thanes and kinsmen, Henceforth be earls, the first that ever Scotland in such honor named. What's more to do, which would be planted newly with the time, is calling home our exiled friends abroad that fled the snares of watchful tyranny, producing forth the cruel ministers of this death butcher and his fiend-like queen, who has to stop by self and violent hands, took off her life. This and what needful else that calls upon us by thy grace of grace. We will perform in measure, time and place. So thanks to all, at once and to each one, whom we invite to see us crowned at scorn. <laughs> that does not happen in real life. The bounce. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go. You didn't start, did you? I I'm, I never stopped. I would the friend we miss it. Not ready. <laughs> I would the friend we miss it. This is not that hard. Your son, my lord, has paid a soldier's debt. <laughs> Your son, my lord, has paid a soldier's debt. He only lived. <laughs> <laughs> then he is dead. Then he is dead. <laughs> <laughs> the smile does not say <laughs> agony. <laughs> Had he his hurts before? <laughs> <laughs> Why then, God's soldier be he. If I had as many sons as I had hairs, I would not wish them to a fairer death. Be <laughs> <laughs> Earls, the first that ever Scotland in such honor named. What's more to do, which would be planted newly within the time. As calling home our exiled friends of Brandy Lost! <laughs>